Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for December 12th to the 18th. This is for Sagittarius Sun and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity and to get more specific with your reading. And the reason I do this, Sagittarius, is because I love you, all right? I love you and I want you to feel like this is a personal reading rather than a general spread. And lastly, astrology and tarot have gone hand in hand for centuries. And uh, in fact, astrology came first and that's why every tarot card has an astrological element alignment uh ruling planet it, it we really go deep that way uh this week december 12th to the 18th i'm not gonna lie this is the last week was come on that was intense we had that full moon in gemini it was uh and you know i won't go in too much into detail but it's pretty emotional pretty emotional especially because mars is in gemini right now but mars is retrograde mars is that planet of action when it's retrograde it's like you know, you, you, you want to move forward, but uh, there's, you know, uh, like a rope holding you back. Do you know what I mean? Um, and not only that, but it was bookended by Mercury going into Capricorn and Venus going into Capricorn. So this week, Sagittarius, first of all, happy birthday. It's still Sagittarius season. Secondly, this week, it really is all about letting go with some things, okay? Letting go of things, all the BS that just you don't need in your life, all right? We are now getting practical. We're getting pragmatic. We're getting down to business. We're, we're putting together our vision board. We're going after our passions. We're, we're ready, okay? All of us, everybody, we're, listen, Sagittarius, especially you, because we are in your season. And um, there's a lot happening. There could have been some activity with partners, okay? Uh, love and career, uh, love or love and or career. Uh, but uh, a lot of uh, stuff, mostly at home. So a lot of like uh, stuff happening at home too. Uh, the message that's coming up, when I say home, like, you know, just think of your actual home or uh, even like partnerships, uh, you know, your physical environment. But let's go ahead and let's get started. See what's going for you, Sagittarius, for December 12th to the 18th. Uh, I wonder, was that, that is, that's it. Yeah, that was all. Well, I mean, I, I have a lot more to say, but we're going to get started. All right. So Sagittarius, um, I... It's a little dark in here. Um, I apologize for that. I just got back from my road trip and I went, I drove home to Atlanta to see my family. It was a two week long road trip. But during that time, I hope you got a chance to see, I did um, your year in review for 2023. So you can see your forecast for 2023. And I think yours was a long one. Some, some of them came out really long, like an hour long. Um, but your December readings are also up too. So make sure you check those out. Um, I love this for you, Sagittarius. Okay. I love this for you. And it's funny because this is really resonating with what I said earlier. And I'll tell you why. First of all, you got the four of swords. Okay. You got the four of swords in your past. And I love that you did get the four of swords because this is all about reflection. This is really just stillness of mind, right? This is, uh, recovering from, uh, just, uh, even like Thanksgiving time, you know, like, there was a lot happening, especially after the eclipses. We were still feeling them. Some of us are still feeling them. I mean, there's a lot going on. And this is good because it, it's showing that you took that moment, okay? You took a moment to just still your mind, to recover, to, to meditate a little bit, to really, really just even just relax, right? Just to feel chill, chill. Um, I love that because you got the chariot and the heart of your spread. All right. So you need that rest because now you're just like, this is when you're in this phase, right? The four swords. It's like you have that clarity. Okay. And now you're moving forward. You're not only moving forward. This is light speed. All right. This chariot, you're in the driver's seat. Okay. Now the chariot, this is all about uh set the determination willpower having that finding it to just charge forward to really 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 feel empowered and not powerless and just going for it all right this is 
really great you see the two sphinxes here right they're going opposite direction it doesn't matter okay it does not matter because you are the driver okay it doesn't matter which direction they go and so you have a lot of power and i love that okay and it's all about moving forward remember i said from the very beginning getting rid of all those things we don't need and starting to become a little bit more serious a little bit more you know even ambitious just very you know capricorn so earthbound right and just planning things out and knowing what you want and going for it so i love that you got the chariot there now you did get the eight of cups you got the eight of cups in your challenge area and so that's really interesting because uh this is letting things go all right this is someone who is leaving the cups behind and this is someone who is uh, whether it, you know, it's, it's, it, first of all, you see the eclipse happening, okay? And you see there's a lot of water, all right? So an emotional moment, but he's moving forward, okay? He's moving forward, and I love that he's moving forward. So the fact that this came in your challenge area, you got to move forward. <laughs> I'm not even going to, like, come on. You got the chariot in the heart of your spread moving forward, right? But I said light speed. This is just like, you know, if this is you know, if, if, if 9,000 percent battery charged. OK, um, the eight of cups walking away from something, whether it's sir, I mean, it wasn't serving you well. OK, um, and it could have even been uh, it could have even just been not that bad. It could just have been. Um, something that you're comfortable with, right? Something like maybe a relationship or, you know, your job or, you know, just and it's some sort of situation. Maybe you're at your job for five years. It was comfortable. It was cool. But then you just had that moment of clarity. You need to have it, okay? And because there's something better for you, okay? We don't want to be comfortable. We want to be, you know, we want to be challenged and we want to, like, you know, climb the ladder. We want the best of the best. We want the best for ourselves, right? And so let's move forward. And it's interesting because you did get the Ten of Wands in your crown. So you are ready. You are ready, all right? So here's the thing. You're ready to move forward. You need to be ready to move forward here too, okay? That is just the main message, all right? Uh, that could be the thing that's holding you back. Now, you did get the Hierophant and the root of your spread, which I love, all right? This is very, I mean, he is the, the male equivalent of the high priestess, and we, we all love her, right? And so this is very spiritual energy, very religious. He was like a religious figure, figure like the Pope, okay? And this is someone who is very compelling and commanding uh, because he has that deep knowledge. He has that sacred knowledge he has that wisdom this is the first card in the major arcana where other people appear because when you have that deep sacred knowledge you pass it along all right and so sagittarius listen with that coming up in the root of your spread there's some sagittarians who are going to be that person that's exact that's just kind of like uh some Sagittarians don't feel like you're being heard. This is your time to start being heard. Let's move forward. Let's move in that direction, okay? You have a power. You're good. You're good, okay? It's just there's a lot that, remember, here. We need to move forward here emotionally, okay? And some Sagittarians are going to, uh, are, there could be someone who, uh, the main message here's the thing some sagittarians listen i the main message that's coming through is there's possibly someone that you may not should not be getting advice from okay and i don't want to be the bearer of bad news but uh that is a message that's coming through some sagittarians there may be someone who isn't some of that you should be getting advice from um they probably don't have they're probably not giving you the right advice trust your gut okay if they if that resonates with you all right but you know i the hair font is a great card and i want you to be able to spread that deep knowledge and wisdom but you know at the end of the day uh it really is this it's all about structure and stability too okay moving forward leaving these the things that we don't need all that hard work all that had our effort of just moving forward from it okay you found the clarity okay now let's 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 start going toward our passions our goals let's go uh, even reach a little bit higher now but let's let some things go in order to do that now you also got the justice card okay in your future so um 
this is really great because this is uh well first of all it's your third major arcana which is whoa, whoa, fantastic but this is in your future and you know we don't really have to explain the justice card you know the justice card ruled by libra this is all about that balance and you're gonna find that balance in you know it's it's coming all right just remember just don't don't look back move we're moving ahead all right now this is also you can see the scale in the judge's hand you can see the sword and the other remember what i said earlier the very first thing that i said in the reading was to just let go of the things that you don't need okay we're entering a very 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 new era a very new beginning especially next week i already explained what's happening that it's going to be a big week but we're 2023 is going to be huge all right so use that sword okay that's a powerful sword. Use that sword to cut anything you don't need in your life that's going to bring that balance, okay? It looks like you're going to do it. It came in your future. Also, if you're in some sort of legal matter, there's some sort of... Uh, some, well, let's see. Some of y'all... Oh, wow. Well, some of y'all are... Um, you did get the nine of cups, so... Uh, uh, there could you some of y'all could be getting a new job okay let's just cut to the chase some of y'all could be getting a new job some of y'all could be getting engaged or you know uh not even just actually married right but some of y'all could be getting a witch this is the, the the genie in a bottle card right this is the dream come true card so listen when i say let go of those things that don't you don't need let go of those things that don't serve you well find it here to move forward look where you're going okay you'll be fine use that sword cut everything out that you don't need from your life that's going to bring that balance that you need and then you also have the nine of cups clarifying that wish coming true card all right this is joy this is gratitude this is you're good you're good okay sagittarius i love you you're you crack me up um listen i love this too how interesting is this uh three wands all right so Let's get started. You got the five of ones. Now, here's the interesting thing. This is a card of, um, it's. It, they say it's a conflict card, but take a good look at this card, all right? They're kids. They're kids swinging ones in the air. So this conflict and this challenge is actually not even going to be, it's not going to be worth their time, all right? And some of y'all are feeling, will feel that, that there's going to be, um, you know, possibly some sort of argument. Listen, I'm not surprised. Every reading that I've done so far have had a lot of challenge cards. This week is, you know, this week is all about having those breakthroughs. It's all about reaching our goals, but it's also venus and mercury are in capricorn right now mercury and capricorn that's a lot of power with words all right be careful about you know uh, uh there could just you know there could be some arguments that come up all right some people not seeing eye to eye and it's a lot of egos at play but just know that it's not worth your time at all absolutely not worth your time um and it could be a uh, message it it could be something from the past too it could be something that has been going on for a while all right so this is the best time to nip it in the bud all right so this yeah so if some sagittarius been feeling it listen nip it in the bud all right nip it in the bud um i yeah that's that's the that's the main message um and then there are some sagittarians who who there's some sort of competition happening okay but just be the as long as you are you you're good okay as long as you are you you're good all right just trust your intuition trust that you are doing the best that you can and that you are again just moving forward i know i keep saying that but it's just like a big theme in your spread now hey i love it all right you got the page of cups all right in your external factors area this is just you know listen there is going to be someone coming into your life uh and then if it's not a physical person it could be a message and it could be a message from a person it could be like an email uh from your boss someone uh but there could be a message coming through that improves your life and it cups right emotionally all right and that's really great it could be actually like if you're single it could be 
so a date, all right? It could be someone that's coming through love-wise. It could be someone coming through career-wise. But at the end of the day, the Page of Cups this is all about just following your bliss, all right? It came in your external factors area, though. So it is something, expect a message, all right? Expect a message, whether uh, it is uh, in your physical reality, it, like, like I said, um, whether it's an email or a text from someone you know, or it could be a message from your spirit guides. I mean, you will know, right? Now, the other thing, remember I said in your physical reality, it could be, you could be going on a date soon if you're single, all right? Or you could be partnering up with someone if you're, you know, this is very visionary. There's very imaginative, very Pisces energy, right? And so this could be someone coming through to like really inspire you, all right? In some way that you need. Um, you got the two of wands, which is really interesting because it looks like you do have a real, because the three of wands came right after that, okay? And your final outcome. So uh, it does look like you have this great perspective. You have this great view. You have this great vision. Uh, you're good to go with it, okay? You're good to go with it. Plan, go at your comfort level, all right? All I'm saying is this is a green light card, okay? And so hey Sagittarius I love this for you because this is you know not only the green light card ready to go with you know whatever journey you want to go on like whatever passion that you're going for I mean you do have the green light but this is like import export right this is like working with other people this is like going beyond your world this is really exploring Sagittarius that's what you're known for you're I love this for you I love your reading okay just remember, let's move forward and start putting together the plans that you need to, the vision that you have for yourself, and the goals that you want, the passions that you have. Listen, you can even put together a vision board, and I know that sounds so silly, but I did that um, when I was like a lot younger, and what I did, um, you can put together a vision board, but do it in a way where you actually take action, right? And so I did the vision board, um, and again, this was when I was a lot younger, and, um, but it doesn't matter. You can do it now too. It doesn't matter how I, I'm actually, maybe I'll do one. I'm going to do one for the new year. Uh, but you know what I did, but the trick is I put it in my bedroom. And so every morning I would wake up to it. I would see it every night. It's the last thing that I would see before I go to bed. Okay. And so it was, it, and so it motivated me. And so, uh, within two years, it was maybe two, two and a half years, um, I marked off everything, every, it, isn't that crazy? I marked everything off, everything that I wanted, everything on that vision board. Um, I did like a, uh, I put up like a blank check of how much money I wanted to be making. Uh, you know, eventually I didn't put like a timeline, but I, within that two and a half years I made it. Um, this, there was this place I wanted to travel to. Uh, I, I got to go. I mean, it's 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 as long as you you know are feel inspired and you take action, then those they actually do work. I don't know why I'm spending all my time talking about vision boards. I know why because you have an amazing spread. I love you, Sagittarius. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to tune in next week because remember that's the big week. Next week's a big week. All right. So thanks again. If you're new to my channel, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, and. And leave comments. I love comments. Even if it's just an emoji, I love those emojis. Um, and uh, if you're a subscriber, you know I love you. Thanks so much, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.